ஏ ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் எஸ்ஏபி எஸ்டி அண்ட் அபேப் லீ சப்போர்ட் இன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ வில் டிஸ்கஸ் ஹவு டு கான்ஃபிகர் ஆர்எஃப்சி டெஸ்டினேஷன் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஸ்டெப் தட் வி ஷுட் ஃபாலோ டு மேக் எ கனெக்ஷன் பிட்வீன் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் சிஸ்டம் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் த வே ஆஃப் கம்யூனிகேட்டிங் வித் அதர் சிஸ்டம் ஸோ தட் வில் பி செட் அப் இன் திஸ் RFC connections only so let me log in the system so the transaction code to access are defined the RFC destination is that SM59 if you go to SM59 we have different RFC types are there the first is ABAP connection and the type here is this 3 so this is used to connect between the sap systems and it is called the abap connections so in abap connections the data will be transferred between sap systems only and here there is no middleware available directly sap to sap only and if any data transferring to external system through pa middleware means that time we should use the rfc connection type tcp ip connections like uh, sending the order acknowledgement uh, that is 855 interface and uh, 810 interface for sending that invoice uh, data right for this and all we should use that rfc connection type as tcp ip connection that is t and similar way if it is i i is used for internal connections so this will be generated during this during the sap setup and uh, this information we can see in that sap message server as well if you see here if you see here eci des7 underscore eh7 underscore double zero this is nothing but that generated during the setup setting up this sap system and same information we can see in the transaction code sm51 let me show you that we see this one here as well ecc ids7 underscore eh7 underscore double zero same thing we can see here so this will be generated during the setup of the system and coming to this uh, tcp ip connections that is t so this is used to connect to the external programs that uses rfc apis that is rfc api so if you if if we are transferring the data between apis api stands for application programming interface to receive the remote function calls then we should go with this rfc type t okay so now let's try to create one connection now click this one create and we should we should specify the rfc destination so basically the the pattern the path i mean that uh, sin, the kind of a syntax that we should follow is that system plus client that is clnt plus client that means suppose i am using the system eh7 right then that uh, rfc destination should be eh7 that is system and uh, clnt will be default it's a constant and like this only clnt and client so which client that we are using here so we are using the client 800 right so 800 this is the pattern that we follow in creating the rfc destination system plus clnt plus client is the number three digit number 
copy this and put it here so here we need to specify the rs destination name and then let me go to the logon and security sorry before that let's mention the connection type so if we are transferring the data between ABAP systems then go with uh, option uh, 3 and if you are transferring the data through PE system then go with the option TCP IP that is T sell this T and go to logon security it is saying that this is already created okay let me give something else okay so in case of an uh, tcp ip connections it's not required to enter this data suppose if it is in connection type is 3 then it's required that we should enter the login credentials Okay, you see here we should specify the language, client, user, and password status. And coming to technical settings, here we should specify the target host. Remember that the creating the RSD is not the same for all the connection types, it differs. Moreover, this is not responsible of the functional consultant or ABAP consultant. Only the basis team will take care of this setup RFC destination creation part will be done by them only so they will do the setup only right so we should specify target host or instance number so so here we should specify the system for which that we are trying to connect make a connection it's a destination basically so like this we have several connections are there and don't much think about this one just to know about these basic things about this RFC creation part and moreover it will be done by our basis team only so when the setup has been done then we will maintain this setup RFC destination is that port we can discuss about port in next classes and coming to one more database table that we should remember is that our RFC RFC DES so in this table we can see list of available rfc destinations connection type wise if we execute i can see the all the available rfc connections here with different types as i said just no basics about this uh, setup no no need to think about more about this because it will be delivered done by basis team only Okay, fine friends. We'll meet in the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye for now.